Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Psych Plus A2 electric air pump. If there's one thing every cyclist hates, it's getting a flat tire. Standard bike pumps take a lot of patience and muscles to get a tire up to pressure. Electric pumps like this Psych Plus A2 offer an interesting alternative to inflate tires. Now the main difference between this A2 model and their other models, the A3, A4, A5, is that this is marketed directly towards cyclists with a bicycle mount included. Now in terms of packaging, really simple, white and black text on here with all the specs here. You have nice detailed information on the back with what's in the box, details of how to use it, and how the buttons operate. You have a nice glossy graphic here of the actual device. I'll go ahead and take it out of the box and we'll go over the specs. This is priced at $48.99, which is pretty affordable. It has 150 PSI maximum limit. So that means you can use this on bicycles or even cars or other tools or balls around the house. So really multifunctional design. It has a USB rechargeable design with a 500 milliamp integrated battery. It has a power bank functionality, which is kind of cool. So you can connect your devices with a USB cable to charge them on the run. It also has an 80 lumen flashlight, which is an interesting feature have. So if you're in the dark, you can actually get around with this pretty well. And as I mentioned, this includes the bicycle mount with this model. Now inside the box, you get the bike mount, which is this plastic design. Works pretty well. So with a little Velcro strap to hold it in place. You also get a little goodie box. Go ahead and take everything out of here. So you get a little carrying bag for this to keep it secure and safe. You get a bunch of attachments. This is where the uh, included instruction manual is not very clear. So here's the instruction manual. It includes quite a few things that aren't really covered in there. Uh, you have a USB charging cable. You have various attachments, so you can use this to inflate balls, inflatable mattresses, and also some of the hardware you need, like the bolts to connect this to your bike, as well as a little grippy pad here to avoid scratching anything, a little Allen key, and again, the little converters. You'll need this for your Presta valves, uh, this for yoga balls or basketballs, and these little inflator heads. Now let's take a look at the weight of the A2 inflator. So the inflator with the nozzle attachment on there is 362 grams. So a little bit on the heavier side, even though it's so compact. And then the simple bike mount without the bolt comes in at 26, so really light because it's just all plastic. Now let's take a look at the fit and finish of the Psych Plus A2 inflator. Now, despite the 150 PSI limit, it's a really compact design. It's offered in two color variations, the white color we have here, or an all black. And it really looks more like a portable speaker than an inflator, especially when you take the nozzle out. It has more of a pod shape that you would see with a little portable speaker design. Really looks sleek, plastic, with the little uh, vertical splitter down the middle, and especially with this contrasting color, really pops. You have Psych Plus here, and a very simple interface. You have a small LCD screen. Let's see if I hold that. And then it actually holds it in place pretty well. It's a really compact design. When you want to use it, you just pull it out, thread it in here, and then you can use the, uh, use the pump on with any kind of adapter you need for whatever you need to inflate. Now, it's a fairly short cable hose here, and the first half is rigid. This is the part that also gets quite hot, so when you're using it, you do need to be careful. The top half is flexible though. A simple flip style nozzle head to lock it into place. And the bike mount itself is also nice to have, although I'm not sure why you'd want to put this on your bike. So in the most compact position, you simply drop this in, put the Velcro strap through, and then you would be set. So this will take a spot on your water bottle cage. So if you, if you don't need the dual bottle cage, you can definitely ride with this. But again, I'm not sure why you'd want to carry this. It's a lot more practical to have a compact pump, a frame pump, 
or just carry CO2 for a bike. I think it's a lot more useful around the house to inflate other items or just to take on events to quickly inflate your bike tires without having to pull out a floor pump. So you can also use a Psych Plus on other things around the house, like your car. It's not rated for vans, but for smaller vehicles, it's definitely something useful. So we'll throw this on my car tire. You can see it's showing 24. I'm gonna set it to 29 and then power it on. You can see it's very, very loud and it does take a while. And there we go, finally hit the pressure. Obviously it takes a long time and if you wanna do all four tires, it might even burn through the battery as well. Here we have the Psych Plus mounted on our bike. You can see it takes one of the water bottle spots with two bolts. Really easy to install and it's plastic as well. You can see it's not particularly secure as it only has one Velcro. So here's a closer view and you can see it definitely rattles around, but it does stay on the bike, it won't fly off. Also, it's worth noting that the uncovered ports on the USB on the bottom definitely pose a water or dust damage risk. So I don't recommend riding like this in rainy weather or dirt. It's better to keep this in a backpack or at home. So now let's show the Psych Plus pump on an actual bike tire. So you need to use a little attachment to attach to the Presta valve. So it simply threads on. Then you take the pump, attach it to this, lock it down. And then for this, I'm gonna set it to 80 and then get pumping. So you see it works pretty well. Uh, it's pretty fast on a bike tire. It's a lot slower on larger tires like a car tire. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the A2 inflator. What we like about it is the compact size. It's shorter than a water bottle and pretty lightweight for the high pressure rating. It also has multi-functionality with the power bank and flashlight features, which means you can get a lot of use out of the inflator. Also, it includes multiple attachments, so you can use it on Presta valves, your car, uh, inflatable balls, anything around the house really. Some of the negatives about the pump is the fact that it's very loud. You can hear it on video, it's obnoxious loud, something you can't use in a different room if someone else is sleeping, so you have to be aware of that. It also heats up pretty quickly with extended use, so you have to be careful where you hold it. And finally, it's not really that practical compared to a normal pump. If you're looking for a good bike pump, a floor pump or a CO2 canister makes a lot more sense on the road. And because of the low battery capacity, if you want something around the house, an air compressor or something larger would make more sense. Taking everything into consideration, we'd give the A2 inflator an 8.0 out of 10. It makes inflating tires easy. It's not particularly practical and because of the low battery capacity, you will have to charge it fairly frequently, but it's not a bad thing to have around the house or as a backup. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at The Sweet Cyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.